Welcome to this video, where I share my insights on how I would learn to code if I could start over. This isn't just a casual chat but a roadmap, a guide, a blueprint if you will, for those embarking on the journey of becoming a coder or a software engineer. In this guide we're going to travel down a path that I wish I had known when I first began my coding journey. We'll explore the significance of adopting a coding mindset, delve into the importance of problem solving, and underscore the value of learning one programming language deeply. We'll also tackle the practical side of coding, creating a personal project and preparing for interviews. Furthermore, we'll familiarize ourselves with the developer environment, learning the terminal, navigating an editor and mastering Git for version control. So without further ado, let's dive into the first part, your mindset. The first aspect I would focus on if I could start over is adopting a coding mindset. Now what does that mean you ask? Well, a coding mindset is about more than just understanding syntax and commands. It's about logical thinking, problem solving, and an insatiable thirst for learning. Imagine yourself as a detective in a thrilling novel. You're presented with different problems or in our case bugs. Your job is to find clues, connect the dots and solve the problem. Coding is much the same. It's a meticulous process of identifying issues, imagining solutions and then coding those solutions into existence. Adopting a coding mindset also means embracing continuous learning. Technology evolves rapidly and what's relevant today may be obsolete tomorrow. So, keep your curiosity piqued. Read, experiment, fail, learn, and repeat. The cycle is the lifeblood of a successful coder. Remember, a coding mindset sets the foundation for your journey as a coder. It's the compass that guides you through the labyrinth of codes and algorithms, leading you to the treasure that is successful problem solving. Moving on to the second part, learning how to code. It's like learning a new language, quite literally. The best approach? Dive deep into one programming language, master it, let it be your foundation. It's tempting to dabble in multiple languages, but a jack of all trades is the master of none, right? Before you feel overwhelmed with the vast ocean of languages, remember, programming languages share common concepts. By focusing on one language, you're not just learning the syntax or the quirks of that language, you're understanding how to structure your thoughts, how to solve problems, how to think like a coder, whether it's Python, JavaScript, or C++, choose one, and really get to know it. Embrace its strengths, acknowledge its weaknesses. This journey is about more than just learning a language, it's about understanding the essence of coding. Mastering one language first makes learning other languages much easier. Once comfortable with a language, it's time to apply your knowledge. Now let's delve into the significance of establishing personal projects. You see, these projects are more than just an application of code. They are an opportunity to test your proficiency and creativity. Think of it as a sandbox where you can play around with the language, free from the constraints of a structured curriculum. It's the real-world application of the concepts you've learned, pushing you to innovate and problem-solve. Plus, it's an opportunity to make mistakes, and trust me, mistakes are your best teachers in coding. Personal projects also give you tangible evidence of your skills. Imagine walking into an interview with a portfolio of projects, each demonstrating your coding prowess and your ability to see a project from conception to completion. That's powerful. Remember, creating projects is a fun way to learn, and it gives you something to show potential employers. Let's move on to the third part, your developer environment. Now, we're diving into the nitty-gritty details that really make a difference in your coding journey, starting with getting familiar with an editor. Imagine your editor as your trusty sidekick, always ready to assist, making your coding process faster and more efficient. It's not just about writing code, it's about writing it well and quickly. A good editor can help with things like syntax highlighting, auto-completion, and even debugging. Think of it like this, you wouldn't try to build a house with just a hammer, right? You'd want an entire toolbox. That's what your editor is, your toolbox. It's packed with features that can help you code faster, spot errors, and even automate repetitive tasks. Getting comfortable with an editor isn't an overnight job, but it's worth the time and effort. The more you use it, the more you'll learn about its capabilities, and the more efficient you'll become. Knowing your way around an editor will make your coding journey smoother and more efficient. Another important tool in your developer environment is Git. This ingenious tool is like a time machine for your code. It allows you to track changes, revert back to previous versions and collaborate with others with ease. Picture this, you're working on a project and suddenly something breaks. With Git, you can easily go back to the last working version and start over, saving you from hours of debugging. 
but it doesn't stop there. Git also shines in a team setting. It allows multiple developers to work on the same project without stepping on each other's toes. Each team member can work on their own branch, make changes, and then merge them back into the main project. This keeps the code base clean and conflict-free. So how do you learn Git? Start with the basics. Creating repositories, committing changes, and understanding branches. From there, practice makes perfect. Mastering Git and version control is a skill that will benefit you throughout your coding career. Congrats on making it to the end of this video. You've just taken a significant step towards your journey in coding. We've covered a lot of ground together, and I trust that you're leaving with a wealth of information. Let's recap on the key points we've discussed. First, we emphasize the importance of adopting a coding mindset. Remember, coding is not just about learning a language, it's about learning how to problem solve and think in a systematic and logical manner. Next, we explored the importance of learning one programming language deeply. This approach provides a solid foundation to build upon and makes it easier to pick up other languages in the future. We also talked about the importance of creating a personal project. This not only helps you put theory into practice but also gives you a tangible product that you can showcase. This is an excellent way to demonstrate your skills and passion for coding. Then we delved into the significance of learning your way around an editor and becoming familiar with the terminal. These tools are the bread and butter of a coder's toolkit and mastering them will make your coding journey significantly smoother. Lastly, we discussed the crucial role of JIT and version control in the life of a coder. Understanding these concepts will help you manage your code effectively and work collaboratively with other coders. I hope that this video serves as a helpful guide on your journey to becoming a coder or a software engineer. Remember, this journey is a marathon, not a sprint. It's okay if you don't understand everything right away, Keep practicing, keep learning, and most importantly, keep coding. And now, it's time for you to take the next step. Whether that's diving into a programming language, starting a personal project, or figuring out how your editor works, the important thing is to keep moving forward. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Start your coding journey today.